Hello traders, FS Pep Collector here. Today is Tuesday, April 30th, and I'm going to be analyzing the US dollar yen, starting on the monthly, working my way down to the one hour time frame for the full top down analysis. So on the dollar yen, I mean, I'm still looking at this as possibly a wave five on the dollar yen. I still, on the, especially on the higher time frame, still don't see any reason to think that the dollar yen is done with its uptrend. Let's take it down to the weekly time frame. Now on the weekly time frame, we just bounced off the 161.8 which is a Fibonacci extension of this wave one projected out the bottom of the wave four definitely a pretty likely area for this to turn to me it looks like a one two three so I think there's a very good chance that we need to make a wave four and probably a wave five just to finish off this sets of trend so I'm still not really ready to say that the yen pairs have turned down in any significant way as of yet Going down to the daily time frame, I have this labeled as a 1, a 2, and a 3, and I really don't even see any evidence that the wave 3 is over. I mean, I could definitely picture this thing just keep on drifting up. We had a big turn down this week, but I think it could have just been a bear trap. I definitely don't see any breaker starts to the downside. I definitely don't even, even this big move down was not an engulfing candle. No engulfing candle, no breaker starts, no lower high tells me that I should still be looking for longs. Now, maybe it is the end of a wave three maybe it is going to make a pretty decent size wave four which is why i got my fibonacci retracement on here if it does make like a three-way pattern down something similar to this wave two then that would make for a really nice long opportunity for the continuation of the uptrend so taking it down to the four hour time frame on the four hour time frame like i said the fact that it never was able to break and hold below structure tells me that that's actually a rejection of structure which often a rejection of structure will just keep on trending up afterwards so i am definitely going to watch closely because this could be a wave a it could be a wave b and if it does make a lower high with a nice move down then we could go sort for the wave c then we could exit our sorts when we get a fibonacci bounce and a break up and go long for the wave five most likely a three most likely a four and back up for wave five like i was showing on the daily time frame so taking it down to the one hour time frame is where i got my fibonacci retracement on this last push down if this really is a wave a and this really is a wave b then it would go up to one of these fib levels make a nice impulsive move down make a nice break of structure making a nice three-way pattern most likely an abc of b and if it does form this picture right here then i would definitely take it as a sort most likely trading it down for a wave c like i was showing on the daily in the four hour but i would be very cautious i would have to see this picture right here to go sort because this could easily just go up bounce from a fib now break structure go up bounce from a fib now break structure and just keep on trending up and i actually think it might even be more likely that it does do something like this so if you do get that three four five shape at a fib level with a break of structure go sort if you don't get that three four five shape at a fib level then just go long at the end of every single pullback you see i think a ton of people are going to be trying to sort this thing and i think because of that it's just a bear trap and i think there's a good likelihood it might just keep on drifting up and we do have interest rate tomorrow for the U.S. dollar. That's definitely going to have a big effect on all the U.S. dollar pairs. I will be live streaming on YouTube tomorrow at the news. So definitely make sure you stop in for that. Hit your notification bell so you do not miss out on that live stream. So anyways, definitely don't forget to join my free Discord channel, which is linked down here in the corner. And don't forget to check out my membership program that gives you access to my daily live trading sessions. And it also gives you access to all my swing trade setups that I share with the group at the time of entry by signing up at my website, fxpipcollector.com. As always, thank you and happy trading.